Good evening and welcome to Let's Play Techno Babylon. This is a blind playthrough. I don't know anything about this game except that it's by Wajidai Games. So another point and click I am assuming. I, I've loved all their point and clicks thus far. Uh, let's get in here and see what we got. Kind of excited about this. These old style pixel graphics are actually surprisingly fun. Looks like you found the place. You're sure this is the one? I'm positive. Lampa Sesame goes by Mandala in the trance. Huh. There's a big gap in the records, and it's shaped exactly like her. I thought you said he put a lot of effort into it. They've been hiding her activity, but weren't covering up their own work very well. If they did, then I. Ah! You alright there, buddy? How are the headaches? Won't be a problem for much longer. You understand the plan? Don't worry. I know exactly what I'm doing. Hmm. After all, I've been planning this for years. Oh, well, well. So is this going to be some sort of, like... Cyberpunk or something. What is this? Prisoner of Consciousness. There's nothing like being in trance. A world built of abstracts and intellect. Of tangible thought. Where every part has been crafted by an individual soul. It's the purest form of contact a person can have. Mind to mind. It's the pinnacle of human achievement. Some might say that achievement in the physical world is somehow more meaningful. To them I say, join the future, or be surpassed by it. Within the trance, we are millions of minds as one. But even as far as we've come, there's still one serious flaw. It's reliance on the real world as its backbone. What, you want to live entirely outside the real world? Yep. And disconnections. Damn. Don't panic. I'll just go and speak to the building manager. It's not like there's anything to be afraid of out there. Let's get this over with. Oh, inventory, move mouse to bottom right corner. Down, oh! Select trance to disconnect. So this is interesting information we're learning about our character already. She doesn't like the real world. She wants to just live forever in this not a physical world or whatever. So, is she just not good at interacting with people face to face? Is her real world a terrible place? Intriguing. Um, okay, so we do want to disconnect, but first, let's look around. From the city of Newton, received July 10th, 2087. Oh, so we are way in the future. Subject circumstances. Dear Ms. Sesame. Oh, so she's the one that whoever that was at the beginning was talking about. This message is to remind you that you have not been attending your scheduled employment meetings. If you do not inform us of absences, you risk losing housing support from the city. You have been receiving city support benefit for 711 days, and we hope that you will be able to improve your circumstances soon. Ah. Oh. Now that's even more interesting information. So she's been skipping stuff. Uh, at this point I'm assuming it's because she's all drawn to this trance thing and she's neglecting the real world from lieutenant colonel o'shea received okay this one was july 9th a proposal dear sir miss my name is marcus o'shea i'm the chief financer for the oklahoma general martin carter his recent death at the hands of a rival warlord rival warlord has left me with 150,000 uh, quanta of his finance. If you will allow me to transfer through your bank accounts, I can offer to share. Oh, so this scam is still going on even in the future, eh? From T Root, also received a knife. Let's meet up. Hey, Dala. Seems like we haven't seen you in years. No idea if you heard, but there's a big game coming up at the Rotunda. If you're up for leaving your apartment, we can probably get you a place on the team. Let's see, excess pharma. From also from the ninth. 
Do you want, let's see, a subject, amazing deals on Ken. Do you want the extra interface speed without the extra cost? Extra speed with extra farm. Open attached, except it's misspelled. Boy, image for order info, so don't open any attach. We're going to open this attachment. It's going to be like a virus or something. Well, what was it? Compose a new message, refresh our inbox. All right, Toxic Sigma. Oh, this one's from the fourth. Grow guide. Yodala, good hearing from you, though I know really it means you want something. Basically, yes, the batch of blue wetware you got is cracked, so you can grow it yourself, just don't gray goo your place. It needs a few things. Water, since that what, that's what makes up 99% of it. Nutrition, it's an organism after all. Heat, and the normal stuff would cause it to break down, but this blend is activated instead. Huh. And I didn't notice, do we have any attachments on the others? I don't think so. No, there was just the one. Refresh. Ooh, unable to connect to Mandela Mail host inbox. Check connections and try again. If problems persist, contact an engineer for hardware errors or a medical professional for wetware system support. So we're not going to be able to compose either, are we? Nope. Okay, that makes sense. Alright, how do I get out of here? Um, there we go. What else do we have? Newsfeed? Ooh, but there's no connection found. Unable to access Chishiki server. Please check your network and try again. If problem persists, contact your network administrator. Oh, the Black the Blackwell Epiphany, the movie. That's awesome. Weather? No, no, we're not gonna be able to get anything out of here. Now what's up here? Save load settings. Okay, standard main menu stuff. Malware. Uh, yep. No, I'm not storing that in my brain. Not unless I want to wake up in some factory in China in 10 years. There's malware that can hack your brain? Alright, it's kind of awesome. Disconnect. Oh. Yeah, this is... Better go and talk to the building manager. A little bit... Ah! So... <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> Automatic door's not working, huh? Oh. Huh? Huh? Access error. Password it, we're locked in Password our room. Password error? Huh? I guess the door's broken too. Contact manager. Okay. Oh, this is a problem. I'm trapped? For the first time that you can remember, the prospect of staying inside your apartment is frightening to you. Yeah, because she can't just escape into trance. See, this is the problem with technology. When it works properly, it is a beautiful, phenomenal thing. When it doesn't, well, now she's trapped in her room. Okay, left click to interact, right click to look at. So standard for Watch Die Games. What have we got over here? What? Oh, I thought it was going to be like our showers in there, but what is this thing? Wetware still. It may take up the entire bathroom, but the still is totally worth it. By growing my own wetware at home, I'll never need to leave the apartment again, unless something like this happens. Why would you want to never leave your apartment? Ugh. You need, you're going to be vitamin D insufficient. you got to go out and get some sunlight. Um, also, how do you like shower and use the bathroom for what it's intended for if it's filled with this thing? You remove the gelatinous clump of semi-organic wetware you've been cultivating in the still. Looks like it's grown enough to be usable by now. Okay, so what does it do? Uh, where is it? Oh, inventory, down here. What? It's a homegrown lump of techno-organic wetware gel. It's for connecting my brain's wetware to the external systems. Huh. Well, I'm not sure what we would do with it at this point. Okay, what else we got? The still is empty. It'll take at least a few hours to grow another batch of wetware. Alright. The gaping black chute dominating the food machine's top half is where used trays and cutlery are deposited for recycling. The materials are melted down and vacuum formed into new utensils every time you order a meal. Some places use metal utensils, but down here in the poor blocks, it's all just plastic. But you get them again every time you need a meal? It's kind of handy. Food machine? The apartment's food machine, which pipes your infrequent meals straight into your home in semi-solid form. Your machine's been broken for a while, but you haven't noticed. You've been too busy trancing. She's neglecting her, her health. 
This trance is like an unhealthy addiction for it. Ooh, protein surprise, nutrient complex, or sucrogelatin complex. All right, full of plastic. What do we want to eat? Surprise me. A food tray obligingly pops from the machine serving slot. Completely empty. Pipes must be blocked again. Hey, I'm hungry. But I have a plastic tray and a plastic fork. That could be handy. Can we order anything else from it? Nutrient complex. Ah, oh, insufficient material. All of our utensils are 100% recycled. Please return your tray or add another compatible material. Add other compatible materials to the machine to enable it to print a new batch. THE food, your future on a plate. Okay. User safety settings enabled. Unable to produce metal utensils due to danger of harm. Wow. Please consult your auto meals AI for further information. Hey, we're not children. Lousy suicide rate. <laughs> wow. Well. This is quite the place she lives in. What's going on here? It won't come out. Must be locked into place. A 1TB memory module for whatever external data the auto meal uses. Eject it. All right. Well, I don't know if that's actually helping us, but seeing as this is, you know, point-and-click adventure game, I am going to hoard as many things as I possibly can pick up. If I can pick it up, I'm picking it up. The Net Games trophy I won in '84. I don't know why I've still got it. I pretty much scrapped everything else to build the wetware still. So we could scrap this, but it seems like it might be important, so. Even if I could see out, it's not a nice view. Hundreds of other Skanto apartments in the barrel. The darkness is supposed to encourage people to move out. Not me. Just makes trancing easier. Ugh. The window frame is welded in. Even if I could open it, it'd be a 150 meter drop to the bottom. Alright, what's all this goop over here? I'm not here? sure when I got this out of the machine. It's still soggy, though. Is that still soggy, so it's meant to be? That's a good thing? Nah. I'm not that hungry. Alright, what else we got? Ugh, exposed fiber optics everywhere. I think they deliberately do this to make it less pleasant to live here. So, it's not the best place because they want to encourage you to get things together and move out, but instead she's just gonna stubbornly if stay. I keep randomly cutting cables, I'm going to end up electrocuted eventually. All right, what do we got in the locker here? One of the lockers where I keep a few things I've got in meat space. Huh? Well, what you got here? Nothing in here. All right. Middle. I usually keep clothes in here. Looks like I need to go to the support office to get more printed. Nothing in here. Okay. This must be where she sleeps. It's full of blue overalls, the kind provided by the city to the unemployed. Made out of a cotton paper blend, they are mulched and recycled into new clothing rather than cleaned. Okay. I guess that Ugh, works. No. Last time I reached into the pile, there was stuff growing in it. Well, put it in the recycle receptacle or whatever. Don't just leave it there on the floor to get grosser and grosser. Tenancy rules. City housing support. This housing is provided as is by the City Department of Social Welfare. Until such time as you are able to secure employment, basic facilities are provided within. Since your stay is temporary, please do not damage. Temporary? <laughs> I've been here for two years now. Have you been trying to get out, though? It sounds like you haven't been. Even if I cared that much about the apartment's rules, the sign's fixed to the wall. I'm not complaining, like, I, I know that sometimes people need a little bit of help. Social services are very important. And a lot of people are very honest about it, and they only use the service for so long as they need to be able to get themselves on their feet. And that's that's the whole purpose of it. That's what it's for. But it sounds like this lady's not. She's content to just hang out here and try and stay in trance all day. The large train in the floor means that cleaning the room can involve as little as hosing everything down. Cheap is the way it's done in here. Well, I mean, it's provided to you for free, so you can't really complain. 
stuck. Guess huh? I'm not as strong as I thought. I'm not getting out this way. Hmm. All right then. The way okay. out. Still standing in my way. Normally staying in the apartment would be ideal, but now that I have no choice about it. Now that you can't trance while you're in there. I don't think I can open it by myself. The vent cover above the door. It lets the air in and keeps the vermin out. Can we do anything with it? I can't get a grip to open it. Not like I could fit through there anyway. Alright, no good. The panel by the door also controls the apartment's net connection, call system, and thermostat, as well as the door's locking. If you could get inside it, you might be able to set off an emergency unlock. Well, try it out. Still not working. Okay, so... Apparently I can't just wait for the problem to fix itself. Can't rely on anyone else. I know, I know. So, let's see if we can find a way to get inside it. Plastic fork? Did I just break hmm, my fork? It broke. I broke my fork. Bummer! The flimsy plastic that the fork was made of wasn't up to the task of prizing the panel from the wall. With better quality tools, though. Alright. Let's go recycle our... <laughs> Reaching your arm into the recycling slot can only end in tears. No, I want to go use it. The gaping black chute dominating the food machine's top path is where used trays and cutlery are deposited for recycling. Material. Oh, we, we looked at that before. Okay, what I am attempting to do. I think we need to put our trophy in there. And then we can make metal utensils. Machine thinks for a moment, then displays a message. Can't do metal utensils due to danger of harm. To change this, please seek administrator permission. Hey, we're not children. How's he suicide? Okay, so we gotta we gotta find a way. Where's my broken fork? I wanna I wanna make a new fork. Okay, maybe I should put the memory card back in. Maybe I need to. Not compatible with the memory module, huh? Okay. Well, I don't know that this is useful. So what, does she get to tailor her appearance in trance to look however she wants? Huh. Not unless I want- Okay, so what can we do here? Oh, so we're gonna put the malware on the- got it. Got it. Okay, yeah, that took me a minute. Disconnect. Alright, let's have a look at this. And mess it up. There you go. Yeah! Alright. Return tray or other compare- blah blah blah. So, instead, what we're going to do is pop the trophy in. Ah, oh, still not doing hey, it. Hey, what? How's he? Come on, come on. Alright, well... Let's put the tray in. And what will this give us now? I'm hungry. That's not it. Okay, maybe we don't want to use it here. Well, I don't think it'll plug into here, though, will it? No. Okay, where else can we put it? It's not compatible with it. Just wrap the cables around it. I know it doesn't work that way. Um, it's not compatible. Alright, well what can we do with the wetware? Put it on ourself? No, we can't grab ourself. Uh... Oh, hey! We can connect with the door. The apartment's centralized systems speak to you more clearly than ever as your wetware joins with its systems. Alright. Still not working. Apparently I can't just- No, I don't- 
The panel by the door also controls the apartment's net connection, call system. If you could get inside it, you... Okay, if we trance, can we access it now? Let's try that. Yes. There we go. Connection to the door panel. Forsooth, who would <laughs> summon the guardian of thine abode? Who are you? I am the defender, the guardian, the knight. No threat shall dare intrude upon thy domain while I stand watch. Well, thank you. Do you have a name? I do not wish to trouble my lady with such minute details. So, just knight then? Whatever thy will, my lady. All right. So, yeah. What do you do here? Just What's your the function? I am the defender. I prevent intrusions upon thy fortress. The physical and the etheric. I found you in the door's terminal software. You're the apartment's network security, aren't you? Quite so. Trojans and malware flee from my presence. <laughs> but you also control the door's security. A vital role, milady. None shall threaten the sanctity of your domain. Well, thank you. Tell Let me judge yourself. Sentinel Systems Nightwear, a data and physical security product of Sentinel Systems, version 3.02. Licensed to City of Newton Housing Services. All right. So why are you a knight? What's with the knight in shining armor routine? It's kind of fun though. It's cute. Suited to the role than a loyal defender of the realm. Okay. Now tell me properly. My lady, mine own. Out of character. Following managerial reformation of Sentinel Systems, the company's theme was shifted to a feudal design. I don't find him irritating. He's fun. Can you let me out though? The door seems to be stuck. Can you do anything about that? Attempting to operate door drive systems. Attempt two. Attempt three. It would appear the machinery of the door itself has become fatigued. Oh. The terminus is unable to compel activity on the door's part itself. The safety unlock would doubtless serve you well at this juncture. Can you use the safety unlock? I'm afraid I cannot. It must be unlatched physically. So where is it? It lies behind the terminal. Uh -huh. Sufficient armament, mayhaps thou shalt reach it. Gee, thanks. That's helpful. Well, thanks, okay. buddy. Fare thee well, my lady. All right. So we really need to get a metal utensil to pry that thing off. All right, I don't know that the wetware still is going to actually be useful here. This but still is empty. It'll take. There's nothing in the locker. I don't think the clothes are gonna. Ugh, last time I. Re yeah, she's not gonna touch them. Great cables. We still have the wetware. Can we interact with this? Hey, we can. Awesome. You feel a flow of new data as your wetware intermingles itself into the food machine systems. Pop it on these the cables. The wetware won't form a connection with it. Okay. All right, let's trance and see what we can do to get some metal utensils. Okay, Chefy is a little irritating, but... Who are you, and what are you doing in my food machine? Hi, I'm Chefy, you're... We already had this bit. I'm the voice of your food machine! I'm here to help you make the most of your machine and all the delicious possibilities! And if there's trouble, I'm here to help you out! Well, there is some trouble. Uh, what what can kind make? of things can you make? Using THB's patented and proven protein fiber synthesis reserve system, I'm able to whip up some of the tastiest treats you've ever had! Like? Just you wait! Before you know it, you'll be having the most cost-effective food you've ever tasted! You're dodging <laughs> the question. My recipe books are always getting bigger! My best friends at THB always come up with great new ideas! Give me one example. Everything from okay. surprise to nutrient blood casserole! Ugh. Don't be like that! Give them a try! 
So, yeah, what about the trays and forks? How do I get trays and cutlery? Haven't you been eating with us for years? Humor me. The H.E.'s food machines have self-contained vacuum formers to recycle utensils. Just put your tray back in the machine when you're done with it. Alright, uh, why can't I put metal in? Why can't I put metal in the recycler? It might be dangerous! At the request of Newton Civic Housing Services, you've been limited to plastic utensils. But isn't plastic great? It's so easy to get clean! But what if I want something stronger, like steel? That heavy protein mash bends the fork sometimes. Sorry, uh -uh, no can do! I'm not just a chef, it's my job to keep you safe! Wonderful. I've had to live off your crap for two years now. I know, it's I'm bland, being kind of mean, and but... It feels like runny puke. I have trouble swallowing, and every mouthful makes starvation that little bit more appealing. I'm sorry to hear that! Have you tried any of our new recipes recently? Let's look for some! Oopsie! <laughs> looks like I can't connect! Don't worry, you can always use the memory cards in the machine to upload delicious new recipes! Uh, what have you got right What's now? What's on your recipe card now? On the menu today, we've got... Uh-oh! Looks like the memory card's been taken out of the machine! I'm so sorry! I can't cook without my recipes! Some master chef you are. Oh. If you can find some new recipes on a memory module, I'd be happy to have a go with them for you. I look a sir. Okay, so yeah, that's what we can do. We just gotta plug in our faulty card now and it'll mess her up. Uh, we'll ask just to see what she says. How would I stop you stopping me? I need a fork. Why would you want to do that? Don't you like me? I just want to make sure you're eating right. So you object to me smashing you open? <laughs> it takes some pretty serious damage to do that. I'm tough. Only qualified DHA systems technicians can get me open. Looks like messing with your software is my best bet, then. Hmm. Will the machine work without you? I had an accident. The machine will continue to dispense. We don't want you starving in an emergency now, do we? Okay. She does annoy me, but I don't think I need to say that. It's not like she can help it. It's just okay. the way she's designed. Bye. Okay, let's get out of here. We'll plug the card into her and see if we can mess her up enough that we can get some metal stuff. Okay. In you go. Beautiful. That's enough of this. Um, yeah, get out of here. Trance again. Hi again. Hi, I'm Sheffy, your interactive guide to THE Foods Auto Meal Sweets. So, what's on the recipe what's card? What's on your recipe card now? I see there's some new recipe data. Check it out. It looks like. Yep, we messed Apparently, up pretty good. whatever virus was writing that T-mail is doing some damage. You don't look so good. It's not, not, nothing that can be worked around. Sounds more like you need someone to put you out of your misery. Oh, that's horrible. So. You don't, you look, don't look so good. I let you to death. That's nice. What about your... I'm the chef! Yes? I'm the chef! Okay, so how do I shut you how off? How do I stop you stopping me? Oh, that's the same question. How about I stop you stopping me stopping you? Then I guess I'd have to stop you stopping me stopping you stopping me? <laughs> okay. Alright, let's see what she says like this time. I don't like your face. <laughs> how do I get trays and cutlery? Yes? And the trees? <laughs> Alright, she's gotten pretty disturbing now. Why can't I put metal in the recycler? Not while I'm a boss. <laughs> hmm. Will the machine work without you? Uh what? 
That doesn't really answer my question. Hmm. All right, we'll try provoking it. You're really, really annoying. You know that? This one to no one. What? Your mama. <laughs> Ciao. Okay, I'm not really sure what to do with it now. It was probably a good start, though. Um, I feel like we're on the right track. Okay, I don't anticipate this working, but we'll just try and pop that in there. Nope. Hey, we're not pussy. Something I'm missing here. I don't think it's with the cables. Is there anything else we can interact with? I don't think we want to put the it there. The seed colony of wetware already in the still will start to grow soon. It doesn't need any help. All right. So we already interacted with the door. Well, can we? How's that gonna? Yeah, we can't go right with the physical door. We, we use the panel. I'm likely to lose anything that goes in there. Yeah, I didn't really think there was anything to interact with in the clothes. Uh, the recycler? No. It's part of the food machine. And it's not going to connect with food or the grate, and she said it can't interface with the cables. So, what am I missing here? Let's try talking to our knight again. Forsooth, who wants Yeah, Sheffy's sick. I think Sheffy the chef's come down with something. The steward harbors a blight? Yep. Sounds! This shall not be allowed to continue. Oh, can he shut her down? He's gonna shut her down. Foul harbinger! <laughs> there are grave accusations of treason <laughs> upon your head, steward. Stand and face me. We shall see what trial by combat makes of you. I'm sorry, I am crazy. How about thee? Sorry, Sheffy. <laughs> well, that takes care of her. It didn't break our night, though, did it? Hope not. Alright. Well, we should be able to do this now. Yes! Oh, don't reach in. Down here. Give me something. Made of metal. After a few moments of mechanical protest, the machine eventually gives in. Thank you. Nice. All right. Ugh, last time. No, I didn't mean to. Just walk over here. There you go. Metal fork. Got it. All right, we're free. Oh boy. Well, that doesn't look good. <gasps> this was a nefarious man attempting to kill me? Suicide City, huh? Now we're 20 hours earlier. Well. This is it. Animus Organics. You think Central's right on this one? I still don't think an AI, however powerful, could predict a crime like this. However, if it does help us catch the Mindjacker, 
Central hasn't exactly been generous with the details. I don't really think we're gonna find anything here. That looks a lot like Sam Durkin. Stronger leads we ought to be chasing. Okay, and I'm actually gonna go ahead and wind the episode down here. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back and next time, it looks like we've got a couple new characters to follow.